Hello everyone, and welcome to another video with me, Winter Android, where I am now starting a new series here on AP History 2, where I am playing on as Uesugi, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, here on the 1440 scenario on the Asia map that was just made recently, in which I have discovery mode for the map on, so you can't actually see the entire thing here. So, yeah. Guess you're going to have to wait to see the entire video. See it all, I guess, or look at it yourself. So, yeah. Uesugi. Over here. Pretty sure I'm going to try and unite all Japan first, of course. But, starting off, I think I'm going to go after these countries over here. Or clans, considering I'm pretty sure these are clans and not countries. So, first off, I guess, build up money. So I actually have something to work with here. Also, one thing, one thing I noticed starting when I got onto this map, switched over to it, is how much different it looks to the other maps. Just the design of it all. Colors and everything on here is completely different compared to the other maps. To be honest, I kind of think I actually like this design more than previous designs on the other maps looks more clean. It also helps with things like this here, which I use for thumbnails. Makes it where the color actually stands out much more. I think. Okay, there. I think that'll be enough money to start off. 50,000. So, starting off, taking over these clans. Utsunomiya. Utsunomiya. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna recruit quite a few troops. Did not really expect that. There we go. Start off going after these. Come on. There we go. Now send this ultimatum. Which they don't accept. So now go to war. There we go. I guess up next will be Shiba. Over here. Go to war. And there we go. Now this ultimatum to finish off this area. Go to war and there. My entire army actually managed to get wiped out. Okay, there we go. That's all of them taken over. So I guess I'll start pushing more south or east here next, I guess. But first I of course am going to have to build up more money since I used it all already. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I also forgot tax to show this stuff here. Uh, technology. 10 points into population growth, 13 into economy, 5 income taxation, 2 in income production and administration, and then 10 into military upkeep. There. And then the administration stuff for budget and everything. Taxes maxed out as high as it can go without population. Mapping is going down, of course. 17% goods, 5% research, and 12% to investments. Okay. So now just build up money once again. Oh, okay, sure. There we go. Got quite a few troops sitting right there, sadly, that I'm going to have to deal with. Okay, there. Now, here, I will put this into economy growth, I guess. There we go. There we go. Got them taken over. Okay, send demands. Now, let's get my troops sent up there. Right now. And get some province built a year dealt with. Quickly. There we go. So if I want to take them over, I'm going to have to do a naval invasion, I guess. Considering I have to go all the way up here to get to them. Okay. Sure. First off, I need to build up money so I can actually create more troops to do it. There we go. Now let's send these troops up here to take that. Okay, sure. They just defeat the entire army that I send to land there, of course. And another country decides to go. Another one decides to go to work with me. Nanbu. Okay. Where are they? That's over here. Right there. Okay, sure. Just get military access to them, and I can go straight in to attack them, basically. Eh. Okay. But still, I need to build up money to fight. idea where they're sending those troops, but okay, sure. And I guess I'll go ahead and see about the military access here. And 
and they refuse giving military access. Great. Neither of them wants to give me military access, of course. So I guess I'll just see about getting peace with them. Since I don't think I can just invade them. Because naval invasions suck. Since I can't get military access to any countries over here. Not much I can do there either. Okay, so I got peace with them. Good. Oh, so you managed to get military access through them. So you give military access to them, even though you don't like them, but you don't give military access to me, even though you like me. Okay, sure. Makes perfect sense. And they don't even accept a trade. Wow. There we go. Have to offer them even more money. For a darn thing. Okay, sure. Okay, for some reason they decide to send those troops there. Okay. There, I go straight in and take your capital. How do you like that? There we go. So that there is that war complete. I of course can't actually take all their land. But I can take a very large chunk of it, leaving them with almost nothing if I wanted. I'll just demand vassalization, that's it. For now, I guess. I guess I could take two provinces. Okay, there. So, I think that's a good start right there. Yeah. Those two are at war with each other now, apparently. Okay. So next, I guess I'll be heading down here to try and clean up a bit more of that, maybe. So, yeah, I think that's there. It's going to be the end of this video. Come on, there. Still can't really see much of Asia so far. But I don't really care all that much. But yeah, that there is going to be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.